What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Diva Podcast. It's Mila. And it is Adis. Oh, what's up, familia? What is good? I can't hear. So Silence. if I'm extra loud, like, it's because I can't hear. So I went, I was in Vegas this uh, past weekend. And first of all, Vegas has changed like crazy. Um, there was a lot of people out there, which was wild. And it was freaking hot per usual in the desert. But, um, I don't, growing up, Vegas was always a family vacation place for me. Like, it was the one place that we would road trip with my dad and mom and my sisters. I would always go to, like, Circus Circus and, like, all the, you know. So, like, I never experienced Vegas, like, the 21 and older until, like, a couple of years ago and really enjoyed it. But this time, I just took my mom and my sister and we just went for fun and, like, shoot the shits and, like, walk around, shop and eat. But I was, like, more aware of just how different it is and, like, how just like ratchet it is now and like grimy and dirty and hot and so many people granted I haven't been around that many people in a long time because of everything that's happened but anyways on the flight back my ears like it felt like there were two knives and you know how normally your ears go out on like high altitudes or whatever I felt like there were two knives being shoved into my ears and I wanted to cry on the plane like I was like gonna start screaming it was like excruciating pain and they went out and it's been like three days and I still feel like it's only like 70% back like I keep yawning trying to chew gum and like I can't hear so like everything is just banged up and like I hate it all <laughs> so I've dealt with that I've <laughs> I looked into it I asked one of my, my doctors what it was um, if it was such an excruciating pain that I was holding my my head like this oh my and the flight attendant said are you okay like and I had my fiance with me and she was like trying to help me you know like scratching my back saying it's okay it's gonna be okay but I felt like crying I felt yeah. like yelling yeah. that's how painful it was and uh, I spoke to the doctor and they said it's sinus and then when the elevation changes inside the cabin that's when it happens oh. it pops so it feels like you have water in your ear and you can't hear and it's like this weird thing, and it took like four days for it to fix. But I know exactly so what pain it does get it. better. <laughs> it does get better after like four days, but that shit sucks. But going back to your point of Vegas, so I had an idea of Vegas before I met my my girl. She lives in Vegas. Uh, I would go on Vegas not frequently, but every I don't know randomly, right? And I had this idea of what Vegas felt and looked like and everything like that. But now that I'm a Vegas regular, mm -hmm. it is exactly how you explained it ratchet so many people grimy this the only time i saw vegas really nice was during the pandemic and that was because there's no one on the strip there's no one in that area and they're cleaning everything because of the lack of people around they finally had time to clean yeah finally had time to clean the streets and the they were cleaning the windows and they were like all of these people just cleaning everything and it looks so nice. And I was like, dude, this is what I remember Vegas like. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now it's just so many people coming from all over. And Vegas is a hot spot, right? But I think the the adjustments in pricing, but now the pricing is coming up. The move of the Raiders coming over there. Now they have a Raiders team. That a stadium lot looks insane. Sick. I saw it. It yeah. looks so good. Um, I yeah. will say, though, like every our Ubers and everybody that is a local Nevada resident, Love it. And they're like, you should move here. But you I do love it. You should move here. People. So my sister lived in Vegas for like two years off the strip. Because when you think Nevada you, or Vegas, you think Vegas. But there's life outside the strip, which is like a whole residential community where the people best. love. And you love it. You're a natural there. And I've been. And when I, my sister lived there. Like huge streets. Obviously, it's a desert. Everything is like brown. But like <laughs> at the same time, it's it's nice. And it's developing. And you get your money's worth, I feel like, in terms of property. Taxes are great. Every resident there that we talk to literally is like, oh, we love it here. And then they'd be like, where are you from? And I'd be like, oh, the San Francisco Bay Area. And they'd be like, oh, shit. Like, how's that? How's that there? Like, it's banged up. It's expensive. And I was like, yeah, tell me about it. In all honesty, if I had the choice... And I know I said it's grimy and ratchet, but that's kind of on the strip. Yeah, I you're would only say. thinking Las Vegas Boulevard. I'm thinking, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm thinking the strip. Yeah. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. Because everywhere has their bad areas. The Bay Area has a lot of bad areas oh, that everywhere. you just don't go to, right? But if I had the opportunity to go back in time and have my entire friend group, right, mm -hmm. and family group live at like and grow up and switch to Vegas, I would do it in a heartbeat. Really? I know that sounds crazy, but the lifestyle there and like outside, like the burbs and shit, uh -huh. hey, I ain't gonna Wait lie. There. The best feeling, the best food um, at night. I love the weather, bro. It's like in the 80s at night, like the lifestyle in Vegas is much different than the lifestyle in the Bay, right? Everyone goes out 
on walks and they go out at nighttime. Like you're not going to walk outside of your apartment right now not or your condo days. in my apartment where I, where I work at and just go on a stroll at eight, 9 PM. Yeah. First of all, it's going to be freezing. It's going to be freezing. Second of all, not, dangerous. Not today. Yeah. Not, not, not anymore. Not exactly. Yeah. And like people go play volleyball at night. They go out, um, to the, the parks so at night. It's safe. Right. But, I don't know. I just wish my family and my friends grew up there because in a heartbeat, I would have swapped it and I would have had my fiance's family live in California and then eventually move to California. But again, there's a reason why California is so beautiful. There's a reason why everybody wants to live here. There's a reason why the pricing is so high because you get the best of both worlds. You get the heat, you get the cold, you get everything here. So there's a reason. You don't get the desert. And you don't get the desert. Or the lizards. Or the scorpions. Scorpions. <laughs> so Seriously. you know it's wild when I was on the flight coming back before my ears were on fire, I literally was like thinking about the history of Vegas and how it developed. Like I wanted to look into it and be like, dude, who cuz it's like this little world that everyone the entire universe knows about that people from all over the world travel to. That's like this hub of just like money and gambling and like high high like luxury where you can essentially splurge like everywhere every hotel has like these luxury high-end shops and like access like the access to everything is so like you just you it's not limited in my opinion and so like you you get this like this this like urge to want to like just cash out spend out eat out right and also like in one one water bottle inside the hotel is like seven dollars so it's like everything is so expensive and like it's just like there's so much money into mafia. it. Mafia. Bro, it's like who runs it? Yeah, the mafia. Like who are the f***ing hotel owners, the casino owners? I mean, I, I think Ocean's Eleven. When I when I think Vegas, I think Ocean's Eleven. It's funny because I stayed at the Bellagio too. It's the one they, lo- <laughs> they uh, yeah. robbed. But like it's insane to, to understand like the level of security that's in there too, like with the number of money that's in there. Yeah, 100% because I mean the biggest mafia, I mean Vegas started because of the mafia. Really? Like, literally, it's the mob that created Vegas. And now it's obviously not ran by people like Al Capone and shit and these <laughs> other mobs, but they basically are. It got inherited by these now businessmen and businesswomen. I'm sure that really, because, like, when you think of casinos, this is something that's deep. Mm-hmm. You can't, like, what are you doing at a casino? You're just gambling money, and the casino, at the end of the day, always wins. It's the mob. I'm telling you, you right cannot, now, it was insulting how I immediately was down 300 by just putting in a hundred dollar bill and and just like a slot Go machine on. and I was like I pressed it twice and it was done it's like, okay and then you're like wait a minute I'm pissed put it in again and nothing think about nothing. it nothing they give you free alcohol yeah in order for around. you to gamble you know why yeah. because they want to take your money even more yeah. they the odds are stacked against you in gambling for one and on top of the odds being stacked against you they're like hey just give them free alcohol so they can get more up and make yeah. dumb decisions yeah. oh let me go to the atm because i know i these they're watching me on a video camera <laughs> i right what i i feel i swear to god i yeah. feel like when i go to tahoe and i go to vegas and shit i feel like they see me on a camera <laughs> and they're like oh there's, there's adis right there let's get him for all his money <laughs> i go to the atm in tahoe and vegas four or five times uh-huh. and i'll go and catch another 200 cash 400 yeah. cash 200 at one point the casino goes like this yeah. i feel bad for you <laughs> I'm serious, bro. There's a green light on you on the Bro, I swear, Bank of America calls me and they're like, dog, I'm going to need to chill, dude. (laughs) Dead serious. Are you a uh, table player? I'm a table player. Mm, I like the social aspect of it. I like playing with my friends and family and losing with my friends and family. (laughs) And then it's so funny because like the dealer also wants to help you win, but I know they're an op. I know they're on the low and up. Like, they're trying to be friendly with you. I literally went to the Russian roulette. The roulette. Yeah. The roulette. And the guy, he well, was like 100 on red. That's it. And he goes, good luck. And he's just like, that's the ball. The guy is straight opposition. Just, that was so funny. Bro. Bro, and that blows my mind that people come on, they're just like thousands on this number. Yeah. Bands you on ever this see those number, Asians and it come, goes away like in a second. The Asians that come in with the Louis Vuitton. Whenever oh, yeah. you see one Asian guy wearing glasses on the inside, <laughs> there's no sun out. It's all <laughs> dark. Okay, he comes in with some like Louis Vuitton aviators and like a Louis Vuitton crossbody. There's hella bands in there. They come from crazy money, and they'll just take out thousands mm-hmm. and they'll put it. They like like backgammon and like these baccarat. Not backgammon. I'm tripping. Backgammon baccarat. is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
Carambo. There's a carambo. <laughs> <laughs> solitaire. I swear, bro. <laughs> and they come in there and they spend thousands of dollars, but they do it because they have like some technique that they use and usually they win and they want to f off some money because they got it. Yeah. When I went to Vegas last, it was my girl's birthday, right? And I was going in and I thought, look, bro, I got a cool six grand to spend. I'm like, I'm going to cash out on a bag for it, right? Yeah. I had like five, six thousand in cash. I was ready to go. And I usually never carry cash like that or got the funds to spend like that, right? I had been saving up for a minute, okay? <laughs> so I was saving up some bread. Finally went to the the crystal shops at Aria, mm -hmm. right? You know those shops where the, all of the high-end stores, yes. there's an Hermes yes. in there. Yeah, all you the went there, yeah. right? Yeah, the forum shops or whatever. Yes. Um, so I go there, right? And uh, we walk into Hermes because I told you I was going to get her those Hermes sandals, yes. right? Yes. Also, those shops are just so... It's un... Like, you, there's no way you're not going in. It's yeah. so beautiful. No, the, and it's... They, there's a smell. Yeah, the perfume. Sm Ariad Cosmo smell yeah. so You know, good. they have yeah. that in Disneyland, too. Yeah. They ha in Disneyland, they have these things called... Uh, uh, they're... They put them through their vents. Yeah. And there's a TikTok about a guy posted their TikToks where they, he shows you the areas. They have scents for like waffle cones, mm -hmm. candy, where they put out these scents to engage, make you want to go into those like ice cream shops and stuff. It's a science behind it. Oh my God. Aria, Cosmo, all of these people do the same thing. So it's inviting, it right? It's very inviting. You're not going to go into a spot that smells like ass. Yeah. You know, casinos, like they use it. People are smoking and shit. Why don't you so smell bad. it in, in Vegas? You don't. Yeah. Because they're pumping all of these good smells to be inviting. That's right. Wild. If you go to the little off-brand casinos that were in the 1970s. Yeah, the where, old like, the Vegas. Older, old yes. Vegas, the older people go in there, yeah. like 70 years old, and it smells like Marlboro Lights yeah. and whiskey. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I walk in, right, and uh, I go and I'm at these stores, right, and I'm thinking like I'm a boss, right, because I never carry cash ever. I never carry cash, right? I have a couple bands on me. I'm ready to go, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. You know when you get that look from the associate that they're like, oh, this guy's just going to come in here and not spend shit? I get that look a lot. You yeah. know why I get that look? Because I come in like this, sweats, shorts. I'm not wearing my watch. I'm not wearing anything flashy. They know my earrings are fake. You feel me? They are awesome already what well, discriminated against me yeah, right they're like yeah. oh this guy's wearing some nike socks but if i was in some javanchi slides some yeah. crazy shit they'll probably be like oh he's about to spend some money you know so they're already like counting me out they're like oh they're just gonna f off my time they're not gonna buy shit right but i'm there for no reason i'm pulling out the cash with my phone <laughs> like the Oh shit! I dropped the cash in front of the associate type shit. Okay, I'm like, oh shit! I let I take off the rubber band. I let them all fall. <laughs> starts raining. It starts raining. I these throw it in there. I'm right? like, whoa! How that shit come out the wall, bro? He said, oh my god! Hey, I swear, I'm on my bullshit with yeah. these fools, right? So then I end up. We I buy her some shoes. She didn't want a bag or anything. I buy her some shoes, and then uh, we're trying to go into Louis Vuitton, right? And the person stops us, and they're like, oh, we're actually closed. And I'm like, what? What do you mean, closed? And I'm looking at the website, and I'm looking at the hours and shit. Because, um, no, what it? I was looking at the hours for Hermes before we had walked into uh -huh. Hermes. Uh -huh. So the person said we were closed, and I didn't even ask, like, why? I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we walk away, and I'm like, why are all the other shops open? open yeah. So I go on my phone, and I'm like, and I search, and they're open. It says Louis Vuitton. They're open, right? So then we go into, I think it was um, Dior, right? We go into Dior um, to see, like, there was another matching bag that Sarah had wanted to look at, and we didn't have time. We got the shoes, and we want to go to Louis before they close. Mm -hmm. I was going to grab her, like, two things, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we look. There's a Chinese couple. They closed the entire the store. store for this woman and this older man. They walked out with like seven bags, like older. They're probably in their like 60s, whatever. They closed the entire for them, bro. Yeah, it was Asian bling. What's that show called? Uh, yeah, I yeah. know it's on yeah, Netflix yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Bro. Big money. That's the type of money that we aspire to be like. <laughs> I don't I'm going to be like this. Hey, close the whole store for me. That's wild. That is why I actually went to um, when I was on Rodeo and they had Gucci. There was every the Ace family was in there, and they didn't close it down for them. But I, they were in this little private back room, and like it was it was interesting because you see all these people waiting outside. But that's next level. Like if you could shut down the store, like Over. why I just need the privacy to shop to make sure no one has access to anything. I'm telling you, Vegas is like it's wild like that, and it's so cool to see. Like you see the most casual person sitting next to you, and then they just drop six thousand on this color, and you're like. 
the fuck? You know that if it's the opposite color, <laughs> you, you just you, lo- you just lost six thousand, bro. Like, how about six thousand in my pocket? <laughs> if you're willing to lose it that quick, you Seriously. know. Seriously. Yeah, but um, speaking of the Ace family, they're about to drop another event. They're gonna drop a new. I talked to Neela about it. Neela was like, "Bro, you need to start Get training and shit." But the thing is, it's like one month to train. Um, I hit up my coach. I was like, "How fast can we get in the lab and work?" One month, I don't even know. I salute Ace Family. They're still grinding. They're still getting after their shit. But at the end of the day, I hope. I feel like what they're doing is they're trying to like get back into the space because the first one failed. The first boxing, the social gloves event failed. Mm-hmm. And now they're trying to revamp and learn from their mistakes because it's all about learning from your mistakes at the end of the day. That's I a wish big card to pull to kind of reiterate, doing do it, it, it all over again. Crypto Center, this old staple center. Remember when they did their in the LA, the basketball arena? Oh, it changed team. the name went from Staples Center to the Crypto Arena. Or oh, something. no way. Crypto.com Arena. Damn, so they just keep pulling this weight. That's wild. I have no idea After how they're going to sell that things. out. I hope I they do. They, I won't be surprised if they do. I'm telling you. They're going stupid. Call them out. I'm su- Hey. <laughs> Hey, have you Call seen my up. bro? Hey, I'm real talk. If they, if he holds, because he called out KSI at the end of the year, I think if he wins this fight, he's gonna hold another event. I've been trying to reach out via email to their promotional company. We haven't heard back, so mm-hmm. um, I tagged our YouTube uh, podcast name, and if they get back to us, I messaged them three days ago. Mm-hmm. If they get back to us, I will be on one of those cards, even if it's in the prelims. I don't give a damn. We to LA. LA. That's wild. That's wild. Where can they find us, Neil? Not in Vegas. <laughs> no, never in Vegas. But shutting down Louis Vuitton. Real talk. <laughs> YouTube.com slash the Demon Podcast. And until next time, TDP. We out. We out.